Hi, welcome to an N12 video tutorial. I want to do the dome made of bricks in Siemens NX. So these are all separate solids and you could use the wave geometry linker and make of those five solids, for example, parts and build an assembly. So let's have fun with Siemens and X. Okay, let's start with a sketch on the XY plane. I need a circle. Diameter might be 200. Finish that sketch. Let's make an extrude. Make it a sheet. 50 millimeters with that sketch. Turn the direction around and confirm. Hide that sketch. Now I want to use a full surface and there are three options. First options would first option would be let's go for surface, fill surface, select the edges, make it G1 continuity and go for none. Then you will get a circular dome. If you go for fullness, you can drag this point up here, but that's sort of not really defined the position and then drag. So the problem with this one is you cannot really position your point. Maybe that's more like it, yeah, but it's not very exact. So what I want to do is to use another option. I want to do a sketch on that plane right here. So I want to use a sketch or two sketches. So let's go for a sketch right there. Okay. I need an arc. So let's go for at center point or we could use a arc by three points so let's put this up there maybe like this okay let's draw some lines because that is a little bit easier to do Okay, these should be for construction only. This point so any selection filter on so these should be symmetric and that point right here that sketch origin should be midpoint like this and well this looks okay maybe i will move it up a little bit if possible Maybe like that. Okay, finish that sketch. And I might need the same sketch turned by 90 degrees. So let's see. Uh, copy that one and just paste it. And I want to put it on that plane. Great. Now let's see if we can put our fill surface through those two curves. Go to surface, fill surface, fit to curves, yes, select the edge right here, make it tangent and select the curves, one and two. 
confirm. This gives me a nice dome. Great. Let's hide those sketches. Hide the extrude. And I want to trim that surface. So let's go for a trim and I will need a plane. So first trim surface trim sheet that's the target and this would be the boundary and okay then I need another plane one with an angle and this would be the reference and that would be the axis and I want to go for 18 degrees and confirm now let's trim once more and I want to keep this and the boundary would be that plane and okay I could hide that plane now another sketch right there Okay, I need that edge. I could have gone for a 3D curve. I will do it with a sketch. So let's project that edge into our sketch. And it's associative and confirm. Finish that sketch. And I need a point set. So go for a point set, curve points, equal arc length, select curve edge, that would be this curve, and I want six points on that edge and confirm. Now another sketch, right there, okay, and now let's project once more that curve into my sketch and confirm. Hide that surface. Let's draw some lines. This should be for construction only. Some more from that point here. So from that existing point onto that line. Another one from this existing point over here. From that existing point here, so it seems that's not not necessary, and I need one more line from that point here. onto that axis. Okay, now these should be normal to that curve. Like this, and finish that sketch. Now I want to do revolves. So go for revolve, start with this one, vector would be that one, and I want to go for, let's say, minus 45 plus 45, and of course it should be a sheet. Apply, next one, minus 45. 
minus 45 sheet and this would be the vector that's okay apply so this one minus 45 okay another revolve here that's the vector sheet apply last one same vector sheet okay let's show our surface that would be the trim sheet and make a thicken so thicken that one thicken that surface the other way around make it 10 millimeters and okay hide the trim sheet and extend those surfaces just to make sure it works so go, go for extend sheet this one maybe 10 millimeter apply that one apply this one apply and the last one okay and now i could split that body so go for home more split body i want to split that body with those faces and okay hide those revolves hide that sketch hide that as well and the point set okay and now I could do a circular pattern these are all separate solids I could go for circular pattern pattern geometry I want to pattern those vector would be that axis and I want to have 20 with 360 angle this takes a while and ok seems I have selected too much yeah I've got 60 objects and that's wrong so I wanted only those so I will deselect them and try to select just the bodies so go for a selection filter solid body this body that one this one that one and the last one and confirm and i'm done so hope you enjoyed this one if you liked it please give it a like or leave a comment if you want to see more please give it a like or leave a comment please subscribe to my youtube channel please subscribe to my facebook cat fan page would be very nice of you i want to get more likes and subscriptions over there as well 
Thanks for watching. See you to the next one. Bye bye.